Hello there guys, Aaron Chandler here for Forever Football DRSC. It's game day today and uh, obviously you will have seen uh, the preview yesterday so please go and check that out. Hopefully we do get the victory today. And uh, this daily report, I said I was going to bring it out, we're going to be looking at the contract situation, uh, what Butler reveals he wants to uh, do with that kind of situation and obviously we're also going to be looking at a report into why Butler decided to leave only a couple of defenders back when defending a corner. So, uh, obviously, uh, loads to talk about in this video. So, please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. And now, let's get into the daily report. So, starting off with the contract situation. Uh, and this is all about what he plans to do. Now, according to the free press, uh, Andy Butler says sorting the future of those players who will reach the end of their contracts in the summer is one of the top priorities after taking over as the boss. Uh, he will, Rovers will see 11 senior players come to the end of their deals in the summer. We know that uh, Lakilo and Taylor have one-year extensions options to their deals. So, you know, I think my prediction was clear at the start of this season. I, I predicted that Taylor and Lakilo would get their one-year extensions and then they would be the, the focus for next summer uh, afterwards. And, um, you know, and obviously Butler was the other one-year extension, but obviously that doesn't count now because he's manager. But, um, yeah, take Taylor and the Kilo away from that. We're looking at nine other players. And, obviously, manage, the previous manager, Darren Moore, uh, elected to delay the talks with players at several points over the last few months. It's all starting to make sense now, isn't it? Uh, but Butler is keen to commence formal negotiations as soon as possible and will look for the green light to do so when they meet with the board later this month. So it will be, hopefully, as soon as possible. And, of course, during that meeting later this March, um, you know, we're going to have that meeting and sort of uh, see exactly what's going to happen uh, with that. Now, of course, Butler said, the first thing I said is, I want to sort out contracts and get players signed up for Doncaster Rovers that want to be at Doncaster Rovers. So, first statement, very good. Players that want to play here, players that will play for the badge on the shirt, they will stay. Those that don't, will go. Like the Kieran Sadler situation, and I think that was handled in an interesting way. Um... You know, stalling on a new deal. We were waiting for the new contract on the table. We offered the amount of money. Sadly, I said no. Let the contract run down to the end of the season. Then went to Rotherham and, you know, we, we, we waved goodbye. And I don't think many fans were very happy with Kieran, sadly, with the way he's dealt with it. So, um, you know, obviously, we don't want to make that kind of mistake again. But players that don't want to play for this club will go. It's, 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 it's as pure as simple as that. And there'll be a reason for that departure. So it's going to be very, very interesting. But I've got no doubt that the nine players out of contract this summer, as well as the contracts of players already um, that don't have outrunning contracts this summer, I think all the players right now want to play for Dunkster Rose Football Club. 100% all the players want to play for that club. And it'd be very surprising if it turns out that a couple of them don't. Obviously, it'll be a very interesting situation as to why, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Um, of course, Butler then came out and said, I think it's vitally important that you keep a core group of players and it's something we'll sit down with the chairman, Gavin Baldwin, Adam Henschel, uh, and speak about. I want it to be sorted pretty soon. So it's good that they're not waiting until like April, May, June, etc. Because the likes of Reese James, Brad Halliday, Joe Wright, John Taylor, they're going to get headhunted by a lot of different clubs with the performances this season. Um, he said he's got a meeting with the board in the middle of the month and that is something I wanted to get sorted personally. I've been speaking to Gavin and the chairman. It's something they are keen on as well. And that's the good thing, by the way. The board online with the manager. That's always amazing at this club. The board and the manager on the same page. It's like it's like opening up a brand new book and you see the words that you expect to see at the start of the book in the beginning of the story. You know, they're on the same page. And like the manager and the board, they're on the same page. And that's good to see. Um, he said they want to get sorted and make sure we've got the group tied down for next year. And by the sounds of that, they want to um, they make sure that we've got the group tied down for next year. That means all 11 senior players that are out of contracts in the summer. So fingers crossed we get all 11 tied down. Especially with the compensation fee from Moore going to Sheffield Wednesday as the manager. So we could use that money towards getting the 11 senior players tied down to new long-term contracts. Whether that's two years, three years, two years and an extensional year if maybe. Um, whatever kind of contract it is. Maybe if it's even longer, maybe we're looking at one four-year deal, but we don't know that yet. So uh, it's going to be interesting. But uh, he said the last thing, you want to go into a season empty. You want to make sure the squad is right for next season to hopefully continue to improve what we've got. So, of course, like I said, the likes of Joe Wright, Brad Halliday and Reese James will all see their deals expire 
in June. Now, obviously, this is going to be a very interesting contract situation. Obviously, when news comes out about contracts, we will bring it to you here on Forever Football DRSC. Uh, I did have a list of the players that are out of contract in 2021, and it's taken a good couple of months now to go through to, to wait for that list and sort of think about who I would um, bring in. So obviously, take Ian Lawler out of it and Charlie Seaman because Lawler's on loan at Oldham. I have a feeling we'll let him run down his contract. Seaman, uh, he will come back, no doubt about that. So we're looking at Halliday, we're looking at Wright, uh, we're looking at James, Blythe, Amos. Horton, Gomez, Greaves, Taylor Lakilo, Fajiri Okunabiri. Those are the 11 players because Coppinger's retiring. Um, obviously, Andy Butler's the manager. Ian Lawler's probably going to go and Charlie Seaman will stay anyway. So, um, we're looking at Halliday. I think he's going to stay. Wright, I think he's going to stay. Blythe, maybe, maybe not. We don't know that yet, but he's a good youngster and I think he'd be a, a good asset if we need to. Uh, so I think he might stay. Uh, Reese James, he'll stay. Danny Amos, he'll stay. Uh, Brendan Hornton, maybe he'll move on. Uh, Magic Gomez, he'll stay. Uh, Greaves, he'll stay. Taylor, he'll stay. Probably the extension, maybe. Lakilo, he'll stay. And Okunabiri, I think he'll stay. And, of course, there is rumours and speculation out there. Don't quote me on this, but uh, I have seen some rumours from multiple sources that maybe Fajiri Okunabiri is a target for Sheffield Wednesday. And I have seen the 72 Wheel of the Football League.co.uk mention five players that more would look for in the Sheffield Wednesday transfer market in the summer. And two players mentioned were Reese James and Fajiri Okunabiri. I think James and Okunabiri are going to stay at this club. There's no way they're going to Sheffield Wednesday. Day. No way whatsoever. Um, they want to play at Rovers. Okunabir is loving his time at the minute. He's on goal scoring form. He's back on form at the minute. He's our top goal scorer this season. That we're not going to make the same mistake as sadly with the top goal scoring lever, uh, top goal scorer leaving uh, in the same season where he got the top goal scorer in the club record. Um, you know, I don't see Okunabiri following down that same path. He'll stay at the club. Reese James, he'll stay at the club. If there, if if anyone was going to move on, I'd probably say it was either Horton or Blythe. But I don't even think they'll move on. I think we could sign all 11 up because Horton is a good young up-and-coming player. Um, Blythe is a good young up-and-coming centre-back. So both young up-and-coming potential defenders. And I see them being utilised at some point. So I think we'll sign all 11 up. But it's going to be interesting. Obviously there's other contract situations that we have to be aware of. Uh, Lewis Jones, Anderson, John, Lyric Asani and Ed Williams all run out in 2022. And of course we've got no more out of contracts in 2023. Because of course Ben Whiteman has been sold to Preston. So... Obviously, the contract situation is very, very interesting. Obviously, I think we'll sign all 11 up. I think the the one that I that would have an expectation to go from some fans, not my personal opinion, but I think some fans will expect either Blythe or Horton to go for more game time lower down the leagues. However, I don't see that. I see all 11 signing up, so I've got no worries whatsoever. Uh, if some do go, then you know they have my best wishes, obviously, and uh, it's going to be very, very interesting. The final of the two stories today, again, about Andy Butler, and it's about leaving um, players up when defending corners. So, um, this was the most striking change under the brand new manager spotted in the Portsmouth game. Now, the sight of three Rovers players stride, staying up the pitch when their side was defending a corner, under previous boss Darren Moore, Rovers would have rarely left any players close to the halfway line in such circumstances. However, Butler's statement to the free press on this decision was, Paul Gerrard and myself spoke about it and just thought, why not? And I like that opening line because Andy Butler shows he's got the bottle to say why not and try it because it's attacking, pressing, uh, high energy play. And, you know, he's got that mentality. If we defend the ball well, then we've got three players up the pitch. They'll sometimes have to leave four back, and if they don't, they're susceptible to the counter-attack. You're playing cat and mouse with the opposition. One week it might work, the next week it might not. Um, and I should say the, the big explanation really is that it was designed to force visitors' Portsmouth into a tough decision over whether to look to make the set-piece count or guard against a potential Rovers break. And... Obviously, like he said, it's going to work against some people. It's not going to work against other people. So you are expected to see it work sometimes, but not all the time. And will it work against Plymouth? Depends how they approach the game to, um, today. I think it depends how they approach the game. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be uh, quite uh, unusual, but I'm excited about it. 
And um, again, I think today's been a really positive daily reports. Contract situations, hopefully middle of March, we'll have some kind of update uh, on that. And obviously, uh, the manager wanting to, um, to, to to play very risky when defending a corner. And we, we've been conceding a lot of set pieces recently. And, um, you know, when Butler's come in, when Moore's exited, you know, we've kind of... We've kind of shut that out in a bit of a way. We've sort of cleaned up at the back during set pieces. So um, I think we're in a good position. Really good position. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this DRC Daily Reports. Stay tuned for the match review later this afternoon after the Plymouth match. And for now, guys, my name is Eric Chandler from Forever Football DRC. Keep living the Rovers life. And that, my friends, is full time Rovers till I die. Let's get the three points today against Plymouth Argyle. Oh, my God!